Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to Militaire Nye, French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal has confirmed President Emmanuel Macron's statements regarding the potential dispatch of French forces to Ukraine, shedding further light on the objectives behind this potential move. Speaking before the Senate, Attal clarified that any deployment would primarily focus on providing non-combat support roles rather than direct engagement on the front line. Attal outlined the rationale behind supporting Ukraine, emphasizing its importance in safeguarding the security of both the European Union and France. He stressed that Ukraine's struggle for territorial integrity not only concerns its own sovereignty but also serves as a crucial defense against authoritarian threats to Europe and France. Atal emphasized that Ukraine's battle is intertwined with their own, highlighting the risks posed by a weakened Ukraine to the stability of Eastern Europe. The French Prime Minister specified that if French forces were to be involved in Ukraine, their tasks would likely include training Ukrainian troops, enhancing air defense capabilities, and securing sections of the border. While the possibility of troop deployment is being considered, Atal noted that the primary focus of EU member states remains on providing arms and equipment to Ukraine. In addition, French Senator Cédric Perrin stressed the importance of coordinating such decisions with NATO allies to maintain strategic coherence and avoid undermining France's international standing. Perrin cautioned against unilateral actions that could potentially isolate France from its allies. This discussion follows President Macron's acknowledgement of the potential deployment of French military assets to Ukraine. Macron emphasized that while there are no immediate plans, maintaining ambiguity in their posture towards Russia is strategically valuable. This approach aims to signal to Russia the West's willingness to escalate support for Ukraine if necessary. That's all for now. See you later.